I'm Kevin Redstar, the painter of this image. My Indian name is Ishtifurushi. That means the creature is a rabbit or a hare. Ishta is a hare, but I say a rabbit, it's a running rabbit. Yeah. That's how I was. I, I went by when I was a little kid, when I was a little boy. I'm from the Crow Reservation. What actually our name is Absalga. That means a large feet bird. And that is the raven. I don't know how the crow came about, but we are the raven people. No one asked the crows. But uh, this particular painting inspired me because my love of horses and the beautiful creature that raised the horse. And also, uh, I was portraying this young lady in her finery in a parade. We have a, uh, a huge celebration in the encampment that lasts a week on our, on our reservation at Crow Agency, Montana. And every day during the encampment, we have a parade till noon. And everybody that participates in that are usually writing to say that they'll be participating in the dances, day dances, evening dances, or also at the horse events. But uh, the portrait that I drew for this is, is something that I've always wanted to do. At one point, I came across the idea of creating a multiple groups of people and different different dresses in this parade. And so, but anyway, I ended up doing just one, isolating this particular piece. And I think it was a series that I did. And uh, I was so happy that the, the person that purchased the painting was gifted back to the museum. So I was really happy to see this nearby here in Wyoming, Cody. But uh, I had a really fine time painting this piece. Like I say, I love horses, and I love people. So it, it brings out the designs of the Crow Indians. What are some of the design elements that are in the yeah. painting, Kevin? Yeah. The landscapes. These are directional. Pointing out the this the land the lands the, uh, the lands is here and the head of the land is over here the lands case and it's this head stall also I'm depicting that so I I, I chose a dark horse so the colors would just pop right on out and that's how I chose it out and red red and blue. Kind of like my primary color is also the crows. And the other color that's very prominent in the crow, the crow beadwork designs is the, the crow pink, although I don't have anything in here for this particular painting, but that's another color that the women, when they bead, like to incorporate in their, in their design outfits. Everything that she wears are given to her, like the hair piece. It's out of her that's it's wrapped to extend her braids. You see the, usually they're exaggerated, right go right below almost to the knee eye area. And they sometimes use those during the dances. And these are from uh, the men in, in her family, her relatives. Uh, that's, a, that's a case. And she's draping a elk hide over her lap. Saddle. And these fringes are very exaggerated. Crows are like that, like to exaggerate something that's just flowing. And also, fringes on here, and on the landscapes also. Uh, they're buckskin, white buckskin. 